Hey, what's up? It's Dr. Allen here at Evolve Chiropractic. I'm going to go over a very commonly uh, asked question in my office. Uh, when patients come in with sinus congestion, they wonder if there's something you can do naturally to relieve that. Uh, so back in my massage therapy days, there was a lymphatic drainage technique that I learned uh, that I've used very commonly throughout the years, and it gets pretty awesome results for most people that come in with sinus congestion. Now, there's different reasons for sinus congestion. Obviously, if you've had sinus congestion for you know months at a time, you have a fever or anything like that associated with it, you probably want to go get that checked out, go to your doctor. Um, but aside from that, if this is more of like seasonal allergy, uh, if you get chronic allergies, this is really good to help open up your sinuses and help to drain. Uh, so let's go at it. So basically, there's a few different sh like pressure points along your sinuses through here. Uh, along your cheekbone, it ends at your ear, and it comes down along your jaw, and then down in the front of the neck, and these lymphatic channels, right, there's little sacs of fluid that control uh, fluid levels in the body. It also helps with your immune system and white blood cells and how they kind of transfer around your body. So these lymphatic nodes are found all around this area. So when you start with this, you're just gonna start with some gentle, circular friction type massage right above the eyebrows right here and then you're going to draw that down right onto the sides of the nose and again it's just gentle circular friction i'm using like maybe five grams of pressure about the weight of a nickel on your finger so just very gentle now what you might notice is that there's little tender points or nodules along this pathway so for me like right here i'm feeling one when you find one of these nodules, you're going to take one finger and you're going to do a, a lymphatic release. So basically you're going to stretch the tissue up and down, side to side, circle one way, circle the other way, and then you're going to rotate. Close the door, open the door. And you can do that a couple times on the tender point. It's going to feel pretty sore, tender while you're working on it. But what you're doing is allowing some blood flow to come in. You're allowing that lymphatic vessel to open up and allow for fluid to start draining. Now you can definitely start to keep rotating circular friction through the cheekbone and we're just opening up the lymphatic channel. When you get back to the ear, it can be a little tender back there, especially if people, you guys clench your teeth and grind your teeth. Uh, that's a pretty common area of lymphatic congestion. So once you find a tender point, you can just go up, down, side to side, circle one way, circle the other way, close the door, open the door. And you're just going to follow that back around the jaw, kind of around the angle of the jaw here. Nice, gentle massage, circular friction. And once you get down through here, we're going to start to drain. So you're going to draw the tissue, draw the fluid down towards your collarbones. And you're just going to do that a few times. Circular friction here, down along the sides. Now you're not pushing hard. You don't want to dig in way deep into the neck where you're your arteries are you just want to stay pretty superficial with this one now when you get to your collarbones this is where you're going to do kind of a, a side to side type motion right underneath into the collarbones so this is where the lymphatic channels will drain into your venous channels so it kind of circulates fluid throughout the body and sometimes they can get stuck here if the neck muscles are really tight uh, that fluid can kind of get congested and you can get sinus pressure you can get headaches different things like that so once you've done a few passes of the circular friction, now you're just gonna do straight compression. You're gonna you take your thumbs, you're gonna press. So right into the orbit, you're gonna press in and up. And you're gonna go into the nostril, on the sides. This is a little deeper pressure now. And now the points next to the nose, it's kind of like a 45 degree angle inward this way, right at the base of your nostril. You're gonna press and hold. You're doing like maybe about a three second count hold and you're doing maybe three, four points along the cheekbone. So this is just static pressure. And what you're doing is you're actually changing the pressure inside your skull and your sinuses. You're putting pressure in and releasing, and that's kind of creating a reflex in your mucous membranes to help them start kind of changing their tone a little bit and allowing for some drainage. And you're just gonna follow that throughout the jaw, on the angles of the jaw. Just press in and release. Good. And then once you get down here, just do a couple more side to side movements. 
And what you might notice as you're doing this, you might start to feel some drainage coming out of the nose, you might feel starting kind of coming down the back of the throat. All that's totally normal. So try this out next time you feel like you have some a sinus headache or some congestion happening. Uh, it should help give you some relief. Another good tip is if you have access to some eucalyptus oil, if you take some hot boiling water in a bowl, uh, you put a few drops of eucalyptus on top, place a towel over your head, close your eyes, and do some nice deep breaths in and out through your nostrils. Uh, the eucalyptus has menthol in it, which actually helps to uh, thin out your mucus. So it'll actually help to drain a little bit better. So hopefully these tips help you out. If you have any questions, reach out. I'd be glad to help you. Be safe, have fun, get at it, see you next time.